Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to your regularly scheduled nonsense. Today we're back with some more Pacific Drive. Continuing where we left off to head in to the next area to kind of go exploring. Um, we're going to hopefully get to the point where we have enough materials to potentially upgrade our car a little bit and make it a little bit stronger because right now it's kind of um it's kind of the drizzling shit it's not a very good car the wheels aren't very good the the doors aren't very good we're missing the hatch on our back uh back trunk area panel so do I not fully do all the dri the driving then? It drives me to certain areas and it passes. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Vehicle health empty. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Thank I you. I need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. I guess we're gonna go here. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Lock, fix, impact hammer. So... I make an impact hammer? I need a gas cylinder and gears. Oh, that's gonna be... Wait. Is that what I have right now? No, this is a scrapper. Can I get through this with a scrapper? No. Okay. Well, fine. Game, fuck you too. Let's go after this car. Sure, whatever panels I can. This seems to be the number one thing, too, is uh, trying to make sure we have plenty of parts. Materials. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. <laughs> Search the trash can. Let me go to blueprints. Impact hammer. Okay. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again. So we'll Got the hell out of computer. Transport smokes, outpost facilities. They've all, all right. been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in April 7. This receiver. Hopefully we can find ourselves another uh, crowbar. Oh, I can make a cr okay. I can make one. Never mind. Shit. Oh, I can craft gears if I need to. Okay, that's not that bad then. Okay. Look at you out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. 
Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. Damn. They talk Francis to death. Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Those voices sound familiar, but I can't really put my finger as onto as why they sound familiar. This game really does uh, give you a lot of the creepy factor. Okay. Seems like that's that one. Yeah, that seems like that's that one completely gone through and that one completely gone through. Let's go. Put that. Let's move everything over and then let's also move over the ceiling kit. And continue on through the rest of this area because there's more to search. Oh wait, shit. Eh, whatever. I don't think I want to take the spare tire. We have a spare tire already. I'm not going to take more than one right now. I don't think that's the smartest idea. And we've officially lost our saw thingy. Uh, fuck. It doesn't look like we can make it either. Well, shit. Yeah, we can't make one of those, so we're going to need to find another one if we want to be able to get scrap again. Or at least as of right now, at least, I can't craft the scrapper. How do I get into this area? Oh. That was easy. by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. That sounds no like most car guys, to be honest. To resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was. And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Fair enough. Just keep driving. I don't want to be over there.
like you're near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower. Up on a hill somewhere. <laughs> my, my, where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former order maintenance manager. Oh, and, um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a uh, R&D scientist. Researching brain technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid-zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over yeah. another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself, the mother of wind technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. President Party Booper. Being honest, all these things flying around me are kind of terrifying looking. I don't entirely know what they are, but I don't really want to be caught under any of them. <laughs> Okay, so at least them explaining what's going on, ex like, you know, the whole, the matter disappearing thing. explains why um those rocks were disappearing and shit let's get a blueprint for a blowtorch Oh no, I got a blue torch. I think that's the radio tower.
Oh wait, shit, that's right, we didn't check inside of here. top off what we can for gas. I mean, we don't need much. I don't know why I'm putting the car in part after I turn it off. It doesn't make the most sense. I should turn it off first. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up. <coughs> but you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, You'll need anchors. Take a look at the ARC device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the ARC device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about link technology than you need to know. Okay, then. So what could I potentially craft for this? I could maybe craft... I could craft the door for back here, couldn't I? Let's actually craft a panel, because I know I'm missing one up front. Um, I'm missing I'm missing one back here too, so let's craft one for here. And then everything else. The last thing I would need is a tire. Or not a tire, a fucking um a door, right? For back here. Oh, and I guess a rear bumper. I'm trying to get myself as potentially uh, strong as possible going forward. I also have no headlights. Oh, I'm missing a headlight. So let's get a headlight as well. That took all of my road flares. Holy shit. There we go. Now we have two headlights. Okay, so those yellow things are what I'm looking for, I guess. Hey, Hoppy, like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. Right. 
Seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. And the back of this breacher's head when I sent them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine. Stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait. Really? Hoppy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis! <laughs> How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're that was a legend. terrifying. Model. I'm giving you ten seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, okay. we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. Let's put some park real quick. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Oh shit. What am I doing wrong here? Gotcha. I was really confused what I was supposed to be doing there. It'd be great if my car would stop fucking jerking around like this. Holy shit balls. This thing does not like to drive smoothly at all. That gateway would. <laughs> Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the Fabrication only way to get station? Back. Oh, okay, I'm intact. assuming this is how I learn. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. Things? I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. 
And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Slice the pearl in half, and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart, and who knows what'll pop up. Okay. Interesting. Take the med kit really quick too. There we go. Use to heal myself up. Okay. So I need to craft that. install it now so yes this is a nuclear survival horror car driving base building game as far as i can tell like is the best way i can describe it i guess um hey we got another trophy let's go what the fuck that's really cool see like i said i've gone into this so blind because i wanted to have just I wanted to be as blind into this as I could because I didn't want to really see a bunch of things about this game and then learn, you know, lose all the, um, you know, not, you know, I didn't want to, I just hit myself with the car. I didn't want to learn everything about this game and then be super spoiled when it came to, when it came time to actually, you know, start playing it. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to look up much of the stuff about this because if I look it up, I'm going to not really enjoy it as much because I'm going to know all of it. And I didn't want to do that. And I'm glad I didn't. I'm, I'm glad. Before heading back out. You'll need the space. I'm glad I'm like learning this as I go rather than just having so much of it on, you know, already known prior to. What is the tr wait? What's the transfer trunk do? What the hell? Hold up. Logbook. Extra moving capacity is exactly what you'll need after those longer, deeper drives. Now you can transfer all your resources and items with ease thanks to this portable garage buddy. Oh, okay. I'm assuming I can install that in my car. Potentially. No. Where do I put the fucking transfer trunk? Am I able to put it... Okay. 
I don't entirely know. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Like, I get the idea of it. But, I would assume... I would be able to put it into my car. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I can't put it in the car. That feels like that's something that would be uh, fairly useful for me. But, oh well. That is going to do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.